the BF-109, a masterpiece of engineering. There wasn't a hint of a traditional approach in the design of this fighter, with the latest in technology and aerodynamics used in the creation of the BF-109. As a result, this plane was unmatched in flight performance upon its debut. Wilhelm Messerschmitt's light fighter was created using the most advanced full metal design of that era. The BF-109B first saw mass production in 1936 as the BF-109B1. The Luftwaffe headquarters initially only put 30 planes of this model into service. The BF-109B2 modification appeared the next year. The Messerschmitt aircraft showed great promise in their battles that took place over Spain. They easily outmatched the I-15 and the I-16 planes encountered there. At that time, the BF-109B was considered a significant aviation breakthrough. Let's see what that translates to within the game. Transitioning to Tier 4 in the German light fighter branch is a wonderful moment. It's at this point we begin the 109 Messerschmitt series. The 109B being the first in the line. Its characteristics and strengths are a preview of the later aircraft on this particular branch. We'll talk about the strengths in a moment, but the most notable weakness of the plane is its slow turning rate. It makes it absolutely unfit for horizontal combat, having such a large turn radius. The BF-109B's firepower is adequate, but does not quite match those of American planes, like the P-36 or F-2A. Even the Japanese fighters can outgun it in certain configurations. In terms of durability, the BF-109B outmatches both Soviet and Japanese aircraft. Being exceptionally tough does little to offset the weaknesses mentioned before. However, the one thing this aircraft has in spades is speed. Nothing comes close at its tier, and this is what makes it an impressive fighter. Having gone over the basics, let's review the proper order in which to research our upgrades. Given that speed is our main advantage, we should start with installing the top engine, the Ambler-Benz 600AA. There are two options for the next upgrade. The first configuration is machine gun based. The installation of the MG-17S allows for a reasonable balance of firepower, speed, and mobility. The best tactic with this build is to rapidly approach the enemy's tail and engage with the power of five machine guns. The second configuration is cannon-based. Research the engine-mounted MGFFM 20mm cannon as well as the MG17S. The installation of more powerful weapons decreases the flight performance of the plane. It is especially true for horizontal mobility. The optimal plan of action for this build is to confront the targets while diving from above. In either case, you should remember that the effective firing distance of the MG-17S is about 400 meters, and the MG-FFM cannon is about 600 meters. Let's talk about altitude and speed. The BF-109B has a wide range of combat elevation available. The optimal altitude range starts from 600 meters and ends at more than two kilometers. The aircraft has superior vertical mobility. The plane performs best in the range from 900 to 1400 meters. Maximum speed is achieved at an altitude of one kilometer. This is the altitude that should be taken for regrouping after an attack. This fighter's speed begins to drop at altitudes below 600 meters. Descend here only during diving attacks and grab more elevation as soon as the opportunity presents itself. Avoid going higher than 1,400 meters unless attempting to intercept enemy heavy fighters. The aircraft loses speed rapidly when climbing. That being said, avoid slowing down while climbing unless you have good speed reserves and an intact afterburner. Otherwise, climb at a low angle to keep the advantage. The BF-109B should always prioritize maintaining momentum. That's all on altitude. Let's talk about tactics. Climb up to 1300 to 1400 meters at the start of the match for your first attack. Here you can look around, evaluate the enemy positions, and prepare for a diving attack. The BF-109B's priority targets are the fast and mobile enemy fighters. They must be destroyed first. 
switch targets to heavily armed planes after all the enemy fighters in that area are destroyed. The BF-109B has the highest diving speed for its tier. Again, speed is one of the aircraft's main advantages. When attacking for the first time, try using boom and zoom tactics. The speed characteristics of this plane allow for a quick escape from any pursuers in the event the attack fails. While your primary duty is to eliminate other enemy fighters, be sure to protect your own heavy fighters and attack aircraft as well. When battling light fighters, try to stay away from the ground. The BF-109B will lose even more of its maneuverability at lower altitudes, and you'll be unable to easily set up another dive attack. It's best to engage targets that are already in battle. They're less likely to evade your initial attack in this scenario. If they do decide to turn and fight you instead, try to shake them off with your speed and return to the fight a few moments later. Like other light fighters, avoid going head-to-head -head against heavy fighters and attack aircraft. Don't stay in the rear gunner's fire either, if it can be helped. It's best to attack from below or from the side. BF-109Bs are not intended to attack ground targets. Very little damage will be done and you'll obviously be much closer to the ground. If you're matched into a higher tier battle, it's best to stay with a group of allied fighters. Provide as much support as possible, but don't be the first one into the fight. Finish off damaged opponents and try to stay in one piece. Here are some tips for playing with your friends in a flight. If you or one of your friends are playing the BF-109B, it's a good idea to play aircraft that also have a high speed. It allows for more coordinated and powerful attacks. Another option is to consider having your friends pick attack aircraft and heavy fighters. The BF-109B will provide excellent cover while keeping the enemy interceptors off their tails. The early model of Messerschmitt's light fighter gives an excellent preview of the planes you'll be flying later in this branch. It's a great place to earn your wings with this style of aircraft. This durable piece of engineering is sure to satisfy your need for speed, put you into incredible combat situations, and keep you from making any unscheduled landings. Get airborne!